Hello and welcome back to another FM22 rebuild and we find ourselves in Germany once again and due to some requests from our Twitch save we have gone with Stuttgart this time. Stuttgart narrowly missed relegation this time round in real life. So if you have a look down below they have won the Bundesliga five times, twice in the 50s once in the 80s, once in the 90s, and most recently in 2007. Well, we say recently, it is quite some time ago now. Is that 15 years ago? So hopefully we'll try and bring glory back to them. They've won the DFB Pokal Cup as well, uh, the last time being in 97, but again, twice in the 50s. Most successful time in the 50s by looks of things. Uh, 2017, they won um, the Bundesliga 2. Looks like they were relegated at some point. The German Super Cup in 1992 and the German Second Division in 1977. So you want to try and get them back to uh, the glory days. So they've been in the Bundesliga for quite a while. Uh, only go, it looks like they've only gone down. All right, so they were in the sec South Division, second uh, in the 70s but it looks like they have been in the Bundesliga for quite a while obviously going down in 15-16 uh, early just to come straight back up as winners and they went down again in 18-19 but this time they go up as a second uh, place team and since then they've finished ninth in 2021 and uh, like I said they've just narrowly missed relegation uh, this year so the aim is to not get them relegated and to uh, get them back up to well, at least mid-table, which is what this all suggests. And uh, top 10. Top 10 in the noughties. They seem to have done very, very well there. And, uh, yeah, they just seem to have fallen away ever so slightly. So let's hopefully we can get them back up there. Let's have a brief look at the squad then. If we have a look at the uh, potential or the ability. The ability. The better players that they've got at the minute. They've got Waldemar Anton, 24 years old. Pretty decent, actually. Uh, DM or a uh, defender, I'm thinking. Six foot two. He's quick. He's got good jumping. And can he head the ball? He can at 13. That's not too bad. But a uh, great anticipation uh, position in teamwork. So that's not too bad. Somebody to work with there, I feel. He's early. He came last season on a free. Played 31 games. Unfortunately, we just can't see any other stats. Well, the players have got... Um, a 23-year-old Muller goalkeeper. Perfect. We don't have to chase around looking for goalkeepers. May have to time down after a couple of seasons, but another four seasons we'll be looking for a new contract. But it looks pretty decent for the time being. How has he performed otherwise? Oh, we can't tell. Again, they only just signed him as well for 4.3 million. So uh, a new goalkeeper. They have got a fairly young side, which is quite good. Um, Pascal Stenzel, 25-year-old, right back, right wing back, midfield, DM, central defender. It's quite versatile, isn't he? Six foot, quickish, but uh, okay, it's not too bad though. But again, 25 years old. Uh, Daniel Didavi, mid midfielder or attacking midfielder actually, left hand side, more likely a cam roll, but at 31 years old. He is worth around about three and a half million. So, and his contract runs out next season. Maybe somebody we could look to move on, or we just hang on for him for a little bit. He's been with the club for a, well all his all this time actually. He's been out on loan to FCN, but that is about it. But he has been with the club and uh, he's performed quite well. This guy looks really good. Potential wise, he's almost there. He's worth thirty million pound, and it's Silas Katomba Mavumpa. I think, don't quote me, but he's a winger, he's very ambitious, right hand side, he looks pretty decent, and somebody I think we can, uh, at 22 years old as well, three years left on his contract, we may have to uh, tie him down nearer the time, but I would like to see what happens to him, what sort of a history has he got, 11 goals, 7, okay, 30-94, we might be able to get something out of him. 28-year-old uh, Wataro Endo, a DM. Okay, I'm, I'm beginning to think a DM role here at the moment. We've got some pretty good players. 28 years old, three years left on his contract. A couple more youngsters born, a Sosa as well. Left back, oh, nice. Complete wing back as well. V fairly quick and great crossing. And Can we use him as a winger maybe? I don't know. 
Uh, that looks pretty decent though. A couple of injuries are here as well. What was this? RL Mangala. Didn't realise they had him, but wow. Midfield, we want him there, don't we? 24 season, he'll be um, handed in his notice by the looks of things. Uh, yeah, £11 million, though. I expect it to be a little bit more than that, but very, very good, at actually, physically and mentally. So I uh, want to try and hang on to him. How long has he been here? For quite a while. Just another couple of ones. Uh, we've got a... Um, a forward, 24-year-old, his contract runs out in two years. We'll have to time down, though. Uh, very good finishing, actually. Fairly quick. Not too bad of what's he been like, goal-scoring-wise. 16 goals last season, 33. 48 and 123. We want to try and get him to be prolific, I think. But uh, I think he has got potential, although he is at his potential. So maybe we'll see what he's like after a year. Give him another contract, possibly, just so we've got a backup. But at seven grand a week, it's fairly cheap. Another one of our highly potential players, Roberto Massimo, 20-year-old. He's very ambitious. He's a winger as well. Again, we've got some fairly good players, though. I'm beginning to like this. I'm not sh so sure about the formation at the minute, but a DM or a cam, that's the one way it's going to go, I guess. Uh, we've got some players out on loan. Thiago Thomas as well. Fairly... Uh, um, High potential spirit of striker, though. Okay, you know what? Could be there's a possibility it's three goals in 30. It's not prolific, but uh, we'll soon see how he does between him and Sasa as well. Maybe there's something to look out for there. And we have another striker there, Omar uh, Marmouche. Although he can play out of the wings, rather play up front, though, doesn't he? Wow, okay, that looks pretty impressive. And um. Okay, 2077, somebody to look at as well. A uh, couple of other players then. Uh, we have got fairly good, some um, potential players. So 21 years old, 18 years... Wow, look at this guy here, 18. Enzo Melo. Winger. Cam. The potential is fairly high here. Maybe we ought to... I've not really used the younger players where they've had uh, little or no stars at all. Maybe... We might use them this time round. Club vision. Let's have a look. See where they want us. So they want us to work within the wage budget. Finish mid-table and reach the uh, German Cup in third round. Uh, working towards the end of 22-23. Work towards mid-table. Uh, finishing the top half. Finishing the top half by the end of this five years. Okay, that's... Uh, we can work to that. We would like to, if at all, win any trophies along the way. So that would be quite nice. Preview. They've got us down as 13th, 50 to 1. Well, actually, it could be joint 8th. But 50 to 1 seems fairly good. A couple of teams that have come up, as you can expect, 600 to 1, 350 to 1. But Bayern Munich, 8 to 15. Borussia Dortmund, 13 to 1, uh, 2. 20 to 1 for the rest. I tell you, we're not that far behind. Quite easily be 8th. So let's go and have a look at the transfers then and see uh, if we can improve this position. We only bring in one sign-in this summer and it is Yari Vesjaren, Belgium. He's uh, 20 years old. He's very ambitious and he's an attacking midfielder. We wanted someone to run alongside um, Didavi. Uh, who's now 31, so we're looking for a replacement at some time or another, and I think he will be the perfect match, to be fair, if we just do a quick comparison with Daniel there. Daniel obviously is a lot, lot better, but he's not that far off, is he, Yari? Not at all. Mentally, he's fine. Defending-wise, not too concerned. Aerially, not that bothered, but vision and attacking, it's not far off for what... Uh, Daniel is at the moment, so um, I'm hoping he's just going to fit in there like a glove. I mean, I know he's like a left-sided uh, midfielder, but uh, I want him there in the attack. And in fact, he can play across right across the uh, attacking front line, so maybe, just maybe, he might play on the other side as well. But I'm hoping to see him with some game time and uh, in his position as well. So if we have a look at his stats, they don't look too bad. Jumping reach, yeah, he can't jump and he can't head. That's fine. At five foot eight, I don't expect to, but uh, technique is pretty good. His passing is not bad either, and he's got great vision as well. So uh, he's an inverted winger is preferred, but I like to see if he can play there as an advanced playmaker or an attacking midfielder. 
and uh, hopefully just take the load off uh, Daniel a little bit as well as he's aging a little bit. But um, other than that, that's the early signings we did. Ten and a half million pounds we uh, bring him in for. There's other couple of signings that were there before we started. Uh, one from Juventus, uh, Moller from Mainz, and the six million pound from Wahid Vagir there from Va Vargil Cisse, Musu Cisse from uh, PSG. Oh, he's 18 years old. Okay, one for the future, I think. But yeah, that's how we're going to go. I don't think we've let anybody else go. Uh, Milo's gone on loan to Heidenheim. Tactically, we're going to go with this formation. We have got... Uh, actually, there is Sosa there. I don't think there's anybody else that could play that. There's Mola that can play there. Mm, I wonder whether to leave that blank. Quite possibly. But we have got some main players here, though. Uh, Thomas has been playing absolutely brilliant for us. The 19-year-old on loan. 11 goals in 6 games in the um, friendlies. 3 in a cup game. And 2 in 2 in the Bundesliga as well. So I think he's going to be our main man. I'm hoping we're going to be able to pick him up next year. But uh, if not, we'll be able to put him out on loan. But Thomas up front. Didavi in the centre. We haven't got any... In fact, we have got... We can remove him now. And uh, it's going to be a fight between... Uh, quite a couple. Sasa's going to be out for another five months, so I don't know if he's going to be there. Yari's going to be uh, available if Dadavi can't do it, but uh, we'll see what happens there. And Mangala is uh, almost fit as well. Back to full training in four days' time. Now, I think we can have him back here, in fact. That's our midfield. That's where I'd rather. So if he's not available, somebody else can come in. Uh, Endo is going to play alongside him. We've got Stenzel, Anton Sosa and Muller at the back. That's our preferred side at the moment with all our better players in there. That being said, we've not been too bad with our friendlies. Uh, we've won all the games apart losing, apart from losing to Salzburg 2-0. Quite some uh, big scores in there as well. We begin the campaign against Babelsberg in the uh, German Cup first round. Thomas getting his hat-trick there. There's an own goal and Kostantinos. Mavrapanas scoring the other goal. Didn't know we had somebody like that, to be fair. Um, Grutha Firth, we batter 4 1 as well. Thomas again with a brace and Massimo with a brace as well. Lapzig, we lose 2 1, unfortunately. Um, an 84th minute winner at, after Tangai Kulabali got us a, a reprieve. And then Freiburg, we smash 2 1. Well, say smash 2 1, it's not a smashing, but. I like to think it is. Tune it up. We concede late on. Competition-wise, fifth in the table currently with two wins and one draw. We've scored seven goals, though, so that's uh, something to look forward to this season. A lot of goals. Six points. We're one off the leaders. Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, the leading. After beating Bayern Munich in the first game, 1-0. So we need to look out for our mains clone. And uh, Dortmund are ahead of us. Where are Bayern? Bayern with a win, draw, and a loss. So they beat Hertha Berlin. They drew Cologne and obviously lost to Mönchengladbach. But they've only conceded three goals. There's a draw for the next round of the German Cup. We've drawn Dortmund. So, yeah, not looking forward to that uh, game at all. If we have a quick look of uh, where we are predicted now, hopefully that's changed a little bit. Wow, we've got worse. Either the other teams have uh, bought wisely or we haven't. That's disappointing. We were 50-1. to one. We're 150-1, to one, hopefully. That's just a red herring. Right, let's simulate season one and we'll come straight back after and see what, we, uh, what we've done. We finish a credible ninth place. Only four points off a European spot. That's really good for our first season. We've done what they haven't managed to do in their 21-22 uh, season in real life but uh, we've finished well ahead of that disappointing that we haven't got a better goal difference so 56 goals i mean it is the third best in the league 92 goals by dortmund and they don't win the league Bayern munich come back from wow well, from that disappointing first game lost the do lose to dortmund clone and mainz as well um we'll have a look at the results in just a second but wow Anton gets the most interceptions made at the back, 135, and uh, chances created were third best in that as well. So that can't be too bad either, can it? So in the league, it's been a uh, win-loss, win-loss by the looks of things all the way down. It's disappointing, I'm not going to lie. We do lose to Frankfurt 4-3 there. 
Any big scores? Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach 1 0. Then we lose to Dortmund 4 1. We beat Mainz 4 2, though, even though Mainz did beat uh, Bayern uh, Munich. Then we play Bayern Munich, we lose 3 2. Lewandowski with the winner on 76 minutes. Who else did we play? Leipzig 3 1. We do beat uh, Firth 7 2. We did beat them earlier on in the season as well 4 1. And we beat them away 7 2. Uh, Divadi scoring a hat trick and Mumpa as well with a hat trick. Wow, two hat tricks. Where's our strike? Thomas scoring a hat, uh, scoring a goal. Okay, so we do get a, a striker in there somewhere along the lines, but then we go on a massive. I mean, that's a bad few, couple of months there, though. I have to say, five on lost to Frankfurt. There didn't we beat Frankfurt not long ago? No, we lost four three. Yeah, big loss there, five one. No big scores the other way though. Three no loss to Dortmund. Did we play Bayern Munich? Where did we play? We lost 3-2 and we lost 2-0 towards the end of the season. But we do end with a win. A 3-0 win over Cologne though. In the German Cup we get knocked out in the third round after beating Babelsberg. And Dortmund we beat Dortmund in the second round. Wow. I didn't expect to win that one. Thomas scoring a brace with Massima as well. Haaland scoring a hat-trick but not enough. And they were 3-0 up after 19 minutes. Well 3-1. Nice to uh, get our, back, our own back on them. That's probably why they beat us twice. And then we lose to Bayern Munich in the third round. 2-1. After going ahead as well, away from home. Goretzka scoring the winner on 91 minutes. Let's have a look at our squad then. Let's how, see how well they did. 21 goals for Thomas though. So I'm hoping we're going to... He's here for another year actually. We can time time down at somewhat. That would be quite good. Quite interesting. I'm really interested to see how he gets on. We did have another forward somewhere along the lines. Sven, what did you do then, the 33-year-old? He didn't really play. And he was. I'm assuming he's going to be going. And we can let him go, I think. And also, I thought we had another striker somewhere along the line. Sasa. No, he didn't play, did he? I think uh, we need to alternate uh, who's playing. wonder what happened to him, though. Interesting. But only eight games on a sub, though. That's That's not great. And the nearest one is uh, another loney, Mamouche, nine goals, five assists. Massimo, eight goals. And we saw him get a hat trick in one of the games or a brace in a couple. Daniel, seven goals, eight assists. Koulibaly, five goals. Now he has been scoring, and five goals doesn't seem an awful lot, does it? And uh, not an awful lot of goals throughout the whole team. Sosa, the left back with 12 assists. As well, Daniel getting amongst assists as well. Endo as well in the middle of the park. Mangala, he did play 31 games in the end, so that's quite good at 24 years old. We're going to have to tie some of these down though. But yeah, it's a, I think it's a very... Um, Squad-wise, they've done reasonably well. Not an awful lot of goals to shout about, but I think we did rather well. Ninth position overall. Where did they have us previewed? Well, we beat that, that's for sure. We finished ninth. I suppose that's where we are, joint ninth with 50-1. to one. Uh, Bayern Munich 1-2 to two in the end. We start off our signings then with our first one, Philippe Ugrinic. He's going to be playing in the camera, not midfielder, although I'm very tempted to stick a midfielder. He might uh, do well there if that's where he wants to play, though, to be fair. But I really got him for this position here. Dadavi is now in, in his 30s. We want someone to replace him, and 23-year-old Philippe is going to do that job for us. Uh, very cheap, two and a half million pound. That was his release clause, I believe. And uh, six point seven three so far, one assist in seven. He did score six goals for uh, Luzerne and five assists. So hopefully he's going to repeat that this season. But uh, very well rounded though, physically and mentally, looks really really good. We bring back Konstantinos Mavropanos, defender. Very very good in the air. Very good heading. I'm hoping he's going to get some game time. Fingers crossed. But we bring him very cheap as well. Uh, 2.6 million. I mean, that's all it cost us. He was on loan for two seasons, in fact. And, uh, yeah, we decided to bring him back on a permanent deal. I think he's really, really good for a backup. And only 24 years old. Of course, look really good. And once again, mentals look really nice as well. Strong right footer. So hopefully he's going to play on that right-hand side. He can play right back as well. Very good potential. Almost there, in fact. 
He's very spirited, good in the air, and he's uh, got good strength as well, which we can all see. And we also welcome back Marmouche. He went back off loan, and uh, we've got him back. He can play up front. I think he has been playing up front. Four goals in the first round of the German Cup, and he's got a goal in five in the Bundesliga as well. So he's uh, obviously making uh, headway in there, and Thomas is better watch out a little bit, I think. Three and a half million pounds it's got cost us to bring him here. One goal, one assist so far. He got nine and four last season. He's going to give uh, Thomas a little bit of serious competition, I feel. But he's got pretty good finishing in the double figures. Very good physically. He's got great pace as well. So hopefully he's, he's an inverted winger, actually, surprisingly enough. But advanced forward as well. We only spend £8.5 million. That's because we have got a future fee and we made sure we tied this one in. Thomas... He was on loan last season. He's back. On, he was on loan again this season to 2023. And we've uh, triggered his release clause. And he's uh, joining us at the end of next season. Two goals already this season and an assist. 16 last season. I think he was injured. So uh, he's only just coming back. So he's going to start in his second loan with us. Second year loan. Out the door go uh, Tommy, Forster and Shiplock as well. They go out in a free. Or uh, Forster goes for just under a million. And Shiplock might as well have gone on for a free. £175,000. Not an awful lot to talk about. But yeah, that is uh, that is our spending this time round. Pre-season has gone pretty good. A lot of goals being scored. Including a 5-4 victory over Aston Villa. Who scored three goals in the last minute. Which is absolutely crazy. Uh, we beat uh, Lugo Martini 10-0 in the first round of the German Cup. With four goals for Mamouche. Cologne, we beat 2-1 the start of the Bundesliga. We mains 1-0 straight after. We get battered by Dortmund. We batter Frankfurt, then lose to Bayern. And then we beat Hoffenheim and draw with Bielefeld as well. There's a lot of games being played with the World Cup being in uh, November, December. So, yeah, we've had to get quite a lot of games being played here. That does leave us third in the table, though. 13 points from 21, which is reasonably good, I think. We have conceded a lot of goals, though, 11, and we have scored 14. We've just got to stop conceding goals, I think. Maybe it is time to like change goalkeepers, possibly, or have a look at the back and see where exactly we are going wrong. But we have drawn Hertha Berlin in the next round of the Cup. And uh, where does it incidentally tell us where we are? 100 to 1. So we've made our team a little bit worse. I'm not sure how we can get this worse. Either that or the teams above us are just uh, spend, spend, spend. Any big fees. £114 million Dortmund sell Haaland to Chelsea. But by and by, Andre Silva for £53 million. Dortmund pick up Rodrigo for 42 And Dortmund pick up another couple of players. Uh, Dolberg and Dest. Hertha Berlin, Leipzig, uh, Lap Leipzig as well. Buying some more off. Dortmund actually that's pretty silly in Dortmund yeah so a lot of teams are buying big players so that's probably pushes us down the uh, down here though doesn't it so that's disappointing from 50 to 100 I'm disappointed but we'll uh, we'll spoil the odds again and finish in the top half and hopefully win some prior uh, win some trophies maybe if we can get to Europe that'd be phenomenal but we want to try and beat ninth place so let's simulate season two and we'll see you guys in just a second Once again, we finish in ninth position, but have a look at that points tally. We miss out on goal difference for a European spot. That is a lot, lot better than last season. We we're quite a little bit off the pace, but now we're literally knocking on the door. Our goal difference is very disappointing once again. Uh, minus one this time round, so it's slightly well. It's a little bit worse than last season. I think it's just by one goal. We were zero last season, but 15 wins, seven draws, but only 12 losses. That's really good. I mean, a big improvement from last season. We just shift our losses to draws this time, but 45 goals, 46 conceded. So we've conceded less. We've also scored less as well. But a Philip gets uh, most uh, third chances created with 23 or joint second. And he also gets uh, third best assists as well in the league. Anton once again with the most interceptions made for our team. But we don't finish anywhere else as a, as a team as a whole. So yeah, so not to be on the um, 
either way of the goals, it's um, it's disappointing that way. In the league, we start off fairly strong as well, especially in through September, with Borussia Mönchengladbach beating them, Hertha Berlin, uh, Union Berlin as well. Two draws though, surprisingly, but we do beat Leverkusen away from home, three 0 Schalke, who obviously got uh, promoted, we beat, but we lose to S. CP07, Freiburg and draw with Wolfsburg. Not a good uh, month in October and then the following month gets even worse. More losses and a, uh, a couple more draws. Bayern Munich we play and Dortmund we totally get hammered but Bayern Munich is a little bit of a closer game at home as well. We find ourselves 4-0 down after 40 minutes but it's a good spirited fight back either side of uh, half time with Yari scoring a brace in there as well so nice one for him and Marouche Thank you very much for closing the gap even further. So he's scoring a few goals as well now. Then we start to pick things up in the, the latter half of the season, February and March. March unbeaten, where we play Leverkusen, Schalke, SCP. We get our revenge back. We finish off with a win as well. But to lose against Augsburg and Wolfsburg, I'm expecting bigger things Maybe we just need to uh, improve that side just a little bit more. German Cup, we find ourselves in the semi fan and we lose to Schalke of all teams. We've done really well against Schalke in the league and we lose 2 1 in the semi final. Wow. Uh, Mangala getting sent off on the hour. That kind of ruined it a little bit after getting back on level terms. So I'm pretty disappointed by that. But along the way, that 10-0 victory we talked about at the beginning of the season. We beat Hertha Berlin, Heidenheim, Freiburg. I mean, we did really well scoring goals along the way. And then we just cannot... Uh, I mean, Anton scored. That's got to be something. I mean, where was everybody else? That's disappointing otherwise. Looking at the squad, Thomas scores 15. Yari scores 11. So that's... I'm not sure where he was playing though. Was he playing in the centre of attacking midfield or was he playing on the left wing? Not sh sure. But he did get 29 goals... Uh, 29 games with six coming on as sub. Um, with Vapranos, 32 games, eight goals. There's seven goals for Marouche. Seven goals for Marouche. Katomba as well with seven goals. Okay, so a few more goals being scored, but I'm looking at these assists. Look at this. Philippe with 17 assists. And if he's playing in that camera, which I'm hoping he is, um, 17 assists, that is, uh, that's pretty good as well. I mean, we're going to have him here for another three seasons, so that's good news for us. But uh, again, more assists coming in along the way. So, so this time with eight assists. So it's not too bad. I'm quite happy with the way the team's starting to develop, so that's quite good as well. Bayern Munich win the German Cup overall. So on a whole, I'm quite happy. I mean, the team is improving, like I say, so hopefully next season. I mean, Anton is our best player by a long way. How long are we going for? Another three seasons. That might just be enough. <laughs> hopefully nobody decides. I know, we'll, uh, we'll uh, pick him up. £12 million is worth now. Is he our most expensive player? I think he could well be. Most definitely, yeah. I think he is. Right, just a few signings to talk about then to try and improve our side. And we bring in another centre-back. A 24-year-old, Nahul Fereze. He looks superb. I'm not going to lie. He's going to be on the same par with uh, the Anton and um, our other centre-backs as well. He can play at right-back also, which is going to be quite handy. I did say we wanted to improve the back four. We conceded far too many goals even though we have conceded less this last season than the first season. But we're going in the right direction. Physicals look really good. Jumping, reaching, heading, fantastic. And he's got a bit of pace with him as well. We bring him in from talking Uruguay. Not a bad season last season. A goal and player of the match in 13 starts, which isn't, which isn't good, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure how many games I play in uh, Uruguay, but... Um, it's a start, at least, anyway. But for 24 years old, I'm not going to complain. We only pay £5 million for him, so we wanted him as backup. We had an injury to Anton, and I realised we hadn't really got an additional centre-back that can help. And uh, hopefully, he's going to do the job for us. So, welcome to the team, uh, Young Ferese. Once again, we're staying with the back. We can go uh, DM if we wanted to, a centre-back. I mean, he could play anywhere around the bottom half of the pitch. And... To be perfectly honest, I brought him in as a right back. We were quite uh, not as heavy on the right back situation. We still need a left back, I, I feel. Uh, Sosa is good, 
but for how long i just don't know he's it's still in his early 20s so uh we're going to look on the left hand side but uh Luke Sherell Gertrude, I think that's how you pronounce it. I do apologise if it is wrong. But again, physicals look really good. He's quite quick with acceleration as well. Needs to a bit improve on his crossing though, but he does like uh, to play at centre-back. But I'm hoping he's going to play there at right back because we've got some very, very good centre-backs now. We pick him up cheaply, £9 million. He's already played three games, two assists, 7.37. He's playing the best football of his life so far. So hopefully that'll improve and he's just going to get better and better. One of our biggest signings, uh, they were shouting out for a left-sided attacking midfielder. And Noah Akafor, wow, he has made an absolute impact in this side. And he's improved the side a fair bit as well. He can play anywhere along the front line. He looks absolutely phenomenal. He's going to fit in everywhere. He can play actually in midfield if he really wanted to change formation. But we're not going to do that. We pick him up for £12 million, which is really cheap. And once again, staying in the sevens. He scored a goal for us already in three games. But last season for Salzburg, five goals, 11 assists and six play of the matches. Really, we want him there for the assists because we do want more goals being scored. And the only way we're going to do that is assisting our forward line. And if he could put, add in six, seven, maybe even double figures for goals, then I'm all for it. But these stats look really good. Pace and acceleration. Get up them wings, boy. We can we can use you there. 23 years old as well. We've locked him in for five years as well. I'm sure there's a release clause in there somewhere, which I'm not happy about, but we might change that. £24.5 million. Pound. It's, uh, it's a bargain if we lose him, though. And everybody knows Thomas. His loan deal finished. We've signed him like we did for the future few from last season. 12 and 3 quarter million pounds. We're happy to have him as, on a permanent deal. 12 goals last season. Not an awful lot. He played a lot worse last time. But four goals in three games. He surpassed the last two seasons now. So hopefully he's going to help us out a lot more. Being a little bit more stable and know where his career is going. But once again, physicals, mentors, he's, he knows the side inside out now. So maybe we might have to bring in another one. But um, Mamouche, I think he's going to be a very, very good um, competition for him, I feel. Overall, we spend £39 million and we release quite a few as well. Churling off, he goes to £1.9 million to uh, Schalke. Galatasaray pick up Sasa. The other forward that we had that wasn't getting any game time, he refused to sign another contract, which... To be fair, I totally agree. We lose him for just under a million. Did Darvey, he goes to Lech for 230,000. We finally offload him. So he did ease our wages quite a bit and cool. One of the youngsters has gone to Western Sydney Wanderers for 155,000. Everybody else is out on loan. Some of the youngsters. Milo's gone out on loan again. And Bayo, he's gone out on loan this time round as well. Tactically, we're still setting up like this. We've got Akafor on the left hand side locked in now. The uh, back four is all free, so they can fight it out amongst themselves with uh, Philippe and uh, Muller taking the other two places. I'm not going to lie, pre season has gone superb. Apart from the loss to Torino, we have a good 4-0 uh, win and a 3-0 win. Reggiana, a 5-0 win. Losing 2-0 to Torino, disappointed, but it's probably expected. However, we go and beat Barcelona in a friendly. I'm not sure whether Barcelona had the full side out. But uh, we take the lead through Mamouche and Thomas finishes it off for us. So I'm really happy about that. We start off the German Cup first round with a 6-0 win over Frialdo Hoven. Everybody's scoring in this game. Mumpa, Katapamba, we've got uh, Thomas, Mola and uh, Wahid as well. Yeah, I can't have butchered them names. Again, I apologise. We start off the league campaign with three games with wins over Borussia Mönchengladbach, Werder Bremer and Union Berlin. 2-0, 3-0, 3-1. That is superb. I'm not going to lie. Competition-wise, we're top of the table. Now, we're not going to stay there. I'm not that uh, <laughs> delusional. However, if we manage to stay in the top six and get Europe next season... It's a job well done and I'd be quite happy to walk away from this re rebuild from that point. If we win the league... That's it, I'm finishing. Probably not. We've got another two seasons after this. So uh, the ball confidence are very confident. We have drawn Augsburg in the um, next round of the German Cup as well. And just incidentally, where have they got us now finishing preview-wise? 100 to 1. So we've a little bit worse than 50 that we were before. But we are in 11th position now. So we've climbed a few spaces. Uh, probably 10th. 9th and 8th, I think we were at the beginning of the rebuild. But I think we've got a stronger side. I'm just not understanding why we're not um, 
at any higher. Major fees. Let's have a quick look. 56 million Bayern Munich have, have bought big. Almas and uh, Tabsoba. 56 and 55 million respectively. Chelsea pick up uh, Michele from Bayern. 44. So that's obviously uh, helped him out there. And another 50 million for Everton's Michelenko. Wow. They've gone big. And La um, Leap Lapzig as well have bought as well with Dortmund buying Diaby from Leverkusen. Oh my God. This is crazy. In fact, it is just the top teams buying big players. Oh, there's us, Thomas, one for, uh, from last season, and then there's Akafar. So I think that's a bargain Akafar, really is. Although he doesn't even fit anywhere on that Dream Eleven, which is uh, very disappointing. Right, let's simulate season three, and we'll be back with the results. What a pleasant surprise that is. We're finished third and it looks like we have qualified for the Champions League. We finished behind Bayern and Dortmund and uh, all that good work for the last couple of seasons where we just missed out last season on a European place by goal difference. We have secured it properly this time. Three points ahead of fifth. And 52 points, what we got last season, would have got us ninth again. So we have improved an awful lot. 20 wins, 4 draws, 10 losses. So a lot more wins and a lot less draws and losses converted into them wins. But 67 goals, 42 against, which is pretty decent. I'm not going to lie, it's coming down. And a plus 25 goal difference. That is superb. Schalke finished bottom of the table to get relegated. But in Leverkusen, qualified for the Europa League. Way down in 12th position. So I'm assuming they uh, won the cup, I'm assuming. But yeah, we're only four points off second spot though. Bayern Munich losing two games, not to us though. Dortmund did lose one game to us. And uh, yeah, we lost quite a few. So we'll have a look at those in just a second. Thomas finishes third leading goal scorer in the league with 19. So that's an improvement. It'll be interesting to see how many goals he got overall. And Philip once again, this time joint top with Kimmich with uh, 12 assists for the season. Gertruda, 126 interceptions made. I'm hoping he played right back. And we do finish behind Dortmund on more goals scored in the season for a club. Uh, ahead of Bayern Munich, actually, incidentally. So that's uh, that's pretty cool as well. Results, then. Let's have a quick look. So September wasn't too bad. Losing the final game of September to Frankfurt, 1-0. But we did play Leverkusen and Dortmund, which we did get them wins. A little bit up and down in the next couple of months. And uh, December sees us uh, with one win against Dusseldorf. And we lose to Leipzig, Mainz and Bayern Munich there. Schalke, we beat 3-0. So that's uh, decent as well. What else we got? Much and glad back we lose. Werder Bremen we win. Union Berlin. Dortmund we lose four 0 but we do uh, go back on a winning spree though. Three wins on the bounce before we lose to Wolfsburg, and then we go on another winning spree. A four two win there. Schalke three 0 Cologne four 0 A four three against Leipzig, which is good. We do lose to Bayern Munich at the last game of the season. Uh, despite going ahead after 15 minutes. We don't get past Augsburg in the second round of the German Cup. After getting to the semi-finals last season, I expect us to get somewhere to the uh, final, or at least to the semis again, but not the case. We lose uh, on penalties. Squad-wise, uh, Thomas only gets one more additional goal, 20 goals for the season, so he does reach 20. Uh, Katomba with 15. Milo, he... I think he was out on loan. I think he scored nine goals for wherever he is at loan. So that's decent as well. Okafor, so much promise. And seven goals and four assists. I expected him to get a lot more assists. I'm disappointed. I'm hoping it's just first season nerves. Uh, Philip with uh, six goals. I mean, a lot more goals going throughout the whole team this time around. So it's a lot. Everybody getting more involved. Assists coming from Philippe. Not as many as last season, but he did put much more energy into scoring goals this time. So so in nine. Katumbo with eight assists along with his 15 goals. I mean, that's pretty decent. I mean, everybody's starting to share the load, which is uh, what we're after. Some of the youngsters who were out on loan then. So Bayez, which we are keeping an eye on from attacking midfielder role. Three goals, two assists in 35 out on loan. Egloff, another player out on loan. Five and four. 
and Miller as well. Nine. I mean, these youngsters are looking really, really good now, aren't they? At the end of the season, they had us 50 to 1 to win the league. And we finished third. I can't believe we finished third. We must have had a little bit of money as well. £123 million now. £60 million to spend. So we can go on and do something there. Not sure where we're going to improve. I'm thinking we need another midfielder possibly. And maybe we have to go for another striker. Right, £60 million. Let's go and see what we've done. Uh, we pick up Datro Fafana. A forward, a right winger. I think he's going to be absolutely superb. Look at that pace. His physicals look absolutely amazing. His determination and flares off the charts almost. Work rate's fantastic. He can dribble as well. And he's got very good finishing. So there has been a lot of talk for on the future on Thomas this, uh, this window as well. And uh, I think we've managed to hang on to him for an, another season at least. But we bring Fafana in mainly for a right wing purposes but he can play up front if need be and we pick him up for a meager 10 million pounds from mold look how he's been doing last season phenomenal four goals already for us in three games for um with one player of the match award already 7.8 he's playing far better than any other season he's picking up goals 51 in 84 that's really good and that's somebody really we couldn't pass up on next up is a midfielder moises casado Yes, look at them physicals. Again, we seem to be picking up some really, really good players now. He's worth about 30-odd million pounds. We've got him until 2029. More than enough time to finish this uh, rebuild off. We pick him up from Brighton for 15 million pounds. Now, that's it, 15 million. And already he's repaying that with an assist so far in three games. Hopefully he's going to score a couple of goals as well if he gets the game time. But there's no reason why he shouldn't do. But... We are starting to lock the part in this Bundesliga now. We pick up a defender, KK. You're probably wondering who. Well, he's a wonder kid, apparently. And 20 years old, looks really nice. I'm not sure if he's actually going to get any game time or not, but here's, here's hoping. He's, well, he's already played two games so far. £15 million. Pounds. That's it. 7.26. He's already repaying us at the back. And uh, to be perfectly honest, he's uh, done all right in Portugal, Brazil. I think he looks really, really good. For 20 years old, give him a couple of more seasons and I expect them to uh, change colour and be a lot, lot higher. Final signing is Noah Catterback. Left back, we wanted to give our left back some competition down there and I think uh, we may have done it with this chap here. 5'11", 23 years old. Looks pretty good. He can play majority of them positions and we pick him up for £20 million. That's it. 7.1, not as good as this season here in Switzerland, but he's had fairly good uh, consistency in the last couple of seasons, and we take him off clone as well. So I'm hoping we're going to weaken them and strengthen ourselves. And with us being in the Champions League as well, we uh, we need we need players like this. So that brings our spending to 60 million pounds this season. We let go of 1.6, not really much to shout about. Uh, Furex gone. For 600,000 to Augsburg. And we uh, say goodbye to Narty. He doesn't get much game time. 66,000. It's not an awful lot. But I think uh, uh, Firth have um, got a bargain for them. I think he'll suit their um, their team quite nice. We've had quite an unbeaten pre-season. And we've started the Bundesliga as we did last season as well. We beat Salzburg 3-1 in a friendly. Then we played Austria Lusteno 5-1 with Drew of Altac 1-1 and a 4-0 win there. 3-3 with uh, PSG no less and then we start the campaign with a first round game in the German Cup 9-0. And Fofana scoring a goal, Okafor scoring a hat-trick. We've got a lot of players that are scoring goals so that's, hopefully that's going to continue and it still does. Leipzig we win 2-0. A goal from uh, Konstantinos and Fofana once again. Uh, Billfield, we uh, beat them as well. 3-1 for Fana. Yeah, Thomas scoring and Mangala scoring as well. And that one, a 3-0 victory over Augsburg as well, which we did struggle last season against. For Fana, a, a brace. He's scored in every game so far. He's played in competitively. We're top of the table ahead of Hoffenheim, Dortmund. Where are Bayern Munich? They've lost a the game already. Who have they got? Mainz won. No, they always struggle against Mainz, don't they? But top of the table, one goal conceded. Hopefully that will continue as it is. Uh, we've drawn PSG, Ajax and Salzburg, <laughs> no less who we played in the friendlies. Uh, in the Champions League, I'll be happy to get into the Europa League and win that instead. I'm quite happy with that. 
and we've drawn Leipzig in the next round of the German Cup as well. With them signings, I'm hoping they'll give us a quite good odds. Oh, wow, there we go. Eighth position, 33 to 1. Marvellous. We've improved no end. We're hoping to break into that top 10. Well, I think we have done, but uh, consistently, I think, if we can finish in another Champions League uh, place again, more money, who knows, we could start by bringing in world-class players and bringing uh, Stuttgart back to uh, the heyday like they were in the 50s. Season 4 to be simulated. Let's get on with it and we'll come straight back. Wow, just a couple of more changes and uh, we make second position. We uh, win the, well, we win second place by five clear points from Freiburg, Hertha Berlin, Mainz, and then look at that, Borussia Dortmund finish in sixth position. Uh, we're 12 points ahead of them. We're also 12 points behind Bayern Munich. Wow, that's, um, well, even so, it doesn't really matter. We finish in second position. We're pushing a lot of teams out of there. And uh, we've done really well. And look at that. 21 wins, 5 draws, 8 losses. They seem to be coming down. The losses have come down since the first season. We were in minus uh, goal difference. We've come all the way. And we're literally at 31 goals. We've 71 goals scored this season. That is phenomenal. It's um, a few more than last season. But we're into the 70s now. And we've only conceded 40. So that is by far our least tally we've conceded. Bayern Munich have only conceded 28. And to be fair, the two teams below us have conceded less than us. But we have conceded less than Mainz and Dortmund, so that's even more impressive. Again, look at Bayern Leverkusen and Hoffenheim. They've conceded less than us as well. So league then, how did we do? We lose our first game in September against uh, Werder. 1-0. Had the 11th minute, we couldn't even get back on that. We uh, go and beat uh, Mönchengladbach, we draw with Dortmund, and then we lose to Wolfsburg, and then Bayern Munich, 5-1. That's a massive loss, 74,000 people there as well. If, to lose that amount, it's just uh, kind of embarrassing a little bit. We go on a little bit of a winning spree as well, two draws, five wins in the next couple of months. That's, that's pretty good, and we're not conceding many goals either. Uh, some big scores there, a 4-1 victory there. Then we lose to Leipzig as well, 2-1, before uh, finishing this uh, month out with a uh, with two wins. We beat Union Berlin 5-1, but we lose to Werder and we lose to Mönchengladbach in uh, February. We do beat Union Berlin 5-1, though. 4-0 against Dortmund, so we do get some uh, revenge back. And we beat Bayern Munich as well, 3-0. Excellent stuff. So an unbeaten win in uh, an unbeaten month in March. We draw against Freiburg, Hertha Berlin... We lose, but we do beat FCN 7-2. That has to be one of our biggest scores, though, um, just after a 4-4 draw with Freiburg there. Who scored in this game, though? So Akafor gets two. KB, the wonder kid at the back, he gets one. Thomas with a hat-trick as well, Mangala. So plenty of goals being scored. I think that seven kind of helped us a little bit. The German Cup, after that 9-0 win in the first round, we do get knocked out by Leipzig on penalties, no less. And it was at home. Stencil missing and Thomas missing as well. So a 4-3 three, three victory there for uh, Lapzig. That's disappointing. Uh, we do equalise through Thomas though in the last uh, couple of minutes of the game in that one in extra time. The Champions League, well that doesn't look pretty. Somehow we make it to the first knockout round after just winning two games. We lose to PSG 5-1 and 1-0. Salzburg we win and lose and Ajax we win and lose and then we play Man U in the um, first knockout round losing seven, uh, six, three on aggregate. What happened in this game? Don't tell me we were leading. Oh, we were leading. Yeah, we were winning 3-1, three, 3-2 three, on the night and then uh, two late goals and a late goal by Sancho there disappointing there but uh, we gave a good fight there at Old Trafford squad wise let's have a quick look so Thomas scores 22 goals so it is increasing but look at this Okafar and Fafana both netting double figures and that's what we've been aiming for all this time for some more players to start scoring goals eight goals by Katomba as well Yari getting seven Keiki he played 40 games the youngster in the middle of the defense Oh my word, he's worth £47 million. Look at him. He looks absolutely superb. 
six goals, three assists for the centre back. Amazing. And uh, Milo as well. He's scoring five and six this season. Uh, we've got Philip as well, four and three. Not getting as many games, eh? Mormush, uh, four and one. And uh, Bay is out on loan, four goals, six assists. And Egloff, just the two goals. I mean, we have done pretty well, though. Casado, 37 games, one goal, nine assists. So if you look at the assists, uh, 15 for Yari, 10 for Aka for. Uh, Katabak as well with nine. Excellent. Casado with nine. Katomba, we got Thomas. Everybody's assisted, so that's looking pretty good. All our better players who are playing consistently are getting more involved in the game, which is really good. So here's confirmation in the competitions. Manu do win the Champions League overall, so we do get knocked out by the eventual winners. And Hanover, 96, win the German Cup. Right, okay, finances, £153 million in the bank and we've been given £92 million for the final season of this rebuild. And our wages has gone up by an incredible 120000 I don't think we particularly need anybody, but maybe if we can get that one or two star players in here, just mix it up a little bit in the team, we can, um, we can really go for the title this time. Right, the first of our signings in spending this money, we bring in a forward. Thomas is attracting far too much uh, interest from other teams. I reckon he's going to go in the next year if we were carrying on this uh, save. He's getting rather, rather irate that we're not letting him go. But he's still got another two years left on his contract. I'm, I've got no intention of letting him go just yet. But we bring in Sekumara, a French forward. He's got pretty good uh, finishing and he's reasonably quick as well. And uh, again, another bit of competition for Marouche and Thomas. Thomas, yes, he's scoring uh, 20 goals a season. I just feel like we need that extra body in there just to uh, either give him a kick up the backside or just challenge him for that position. Marouche is doing it, but not on a permanent basis. I think uh, this guy here, it's going to be far between him and Thomas as to who's going to hold the, the line up front for us. But we spent £27.5 million straight up from Juventus. He didn't do too bad for him last season. Six goals in 12. He's got one in three for us already. So you could possibly say it's around about right already. But I'm hoping he's going to surpass what he's done in previous. 26 goals in 78 overall. But £27.5 million. He was almost a five-star when we had him. But obviously we've uh, brought in other players. Um, which has reduced the star ratings down a bit, but stats-wise, it looks very, very nice. The next one, you, he probably needs no introduction. Hannibal from Manchester United as well, and as you can imagine, they weren't going to let him go likely at all. He's going to fight uh, for Farner on that left-hand side, I think, but ideally, I brought him for a midfield role or a cam role, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I might just stick him in the cam role. To challenge with Philip and or in the middle, but again, very very nicely rounded. Twenty two years old, he's here to twenty thirty another five years as well, and we pay thirty five million pounds for him. I think it's a little bit excessive. He's not really getting much game time at Old Trafford, which is surprising. Twenty two years old now, stats look really good as well. So I'm expecting him. Well, I'm expecting wonders from this young man. He's a perfectionist as well, apparently. And a final signing, and a most expensive signing, actually, is Harvey Elliott from Liverpool. There, Look at that. He is going to be challenging... Uh, actually, I think Fafana is on the right-hand side. I'm not sure he's on the left-hand side. But he's going to be challenging one of the wingers either side. He can play either side. He can play Cam midfield. I'm not sure he can play up front, though. But even so, he's got great dribbling. Great agility as well. Uh, hopefully he's going to fit in. So we've got Hannibal one side possibly. Harvey Elliott the other. I mean, we're looking good going forward. We had £92 million to spend. So, you know, I think we've gone a little bit over here. £58 million from Liverpool. I'm not sure whether that's excessive or not. But it wasn't £58 million straight up. I think we paid something like £30 million up straight up or something like that. And then add-ons on top. But already two goals and an assist in three games. But, I mean, how can you not sign somebody like that? He's, he's got nearly a five-star potential, and he's uh, about a star away from that already. It really is not so great, but everything else looks superb. Our total spending now, then, for this particular uh, summer is £121 million. Obviously, with add-ons, 
We sell seven, nearly eight million pounds worth. Uh, Sosa's gone to Dusseldorf for four million pounds. Fergo the forward's gone to Michelin for 1.3. Massimo's gone as well for 1.3. Koulibaly's gone. Uh, Frank's gone. Klimovic is gone as well. Egloff has gone. He was out on loan a few times. He's gone. And Endo, he'd refused to sign a new contract. I'm annoyed he's gone. He's still a very, very good player. But 32 years old now. I probably would have uh, prepared to let him go. I don't think we we're going to get much money for him anyway. But it would have been a nice to have as a backup either way. Tactically, I'm just going to leave KK in there. Because he's um, he played really well last season. And already he's got a goal to his name in the four games. And uh, he's the only player really I want to see have more game time. I want to see Hannibal. I was very tempted to bring Hannibal in the midfield. Or even Camroll possibly. Should I do that? No, I'm going to leave it. Um, he's going to fight it out with uh, Akafar. Now, Akafar, I'm not sure where he is, actually, but he's asking to be um, transferred. I'm not letting him go. I am definitely not letting him go. I want him to play there, but I'm going to uh, let him fight it out with um, Hannibal. Unless Hannibal plays there and fights it out with Philip, I don't know. Up front, we've either got uh, Thomas... Uh, Mumper even, Mara. We've got quite a lot of options up front as well. Right wing, we've got Harvey Eller, Mumper again. Akafar can play there. I mean, the options are endless. So hopefully, we're going to be um, pretty well equipped. And we have gone inside winger. And we have gone inverted winger on this side as well. So we've got two inverted wingers. Uh, an AP in the middle and um, attacking uh, forward up front. Right, let's have a look at how well we've done so far. So, pre-season's gone uh, literally to plan. We've won all our games quite convincingly as well. We have even beat Tottenham along the way. We start off the uh, German Cup first round with a 2-0 victory. Then we have two draws, Hertha Berlin and Werder. And then we beat um, Dortmund. Two goals, uh, Casado and Keiki as well, which is... Uh, which is quite bizarre. So I'm not really sure if we had any forwards playing or not. Uh, we had Mara in there. Hannibal's on that left-hand side. No, Akafar. That's weird. Why is he not even playing? Is he on the be He's on the bench. Why is he not ahead of him? Hmm. I'm expecting... I want Ak I might have to put Akafar in there and put Hannibal somewhere else. Akafar is probably one of our better players. So we'll have to look into that. We are just outside European places in 7th with 5 points. 4 points adrift. So we're not doing too particularly well. But Bayern Munich haven't conceded a goal yet and scored 14. And Leverkusen, Freiburg, Wolfsburg, Dortmund who are above us. We beat. So that's weird. Werder and uh, Hertha Berlin who we drew against. Yeah. Hmm. They're below us. <laughs> the Champions League, we've drawn Chelsea, Real Madrid and Salzburg again. Well, I seem to like Salzburg and we've drawn Hamburger in the uh, second round of the German Cup. I'm hoping I'm going to go for the win there as well. And interestingly enough, for the final season, if we have a look at the preview, they see us finishing at 50-1 to 1 in sixth position. Now, we were 33-1 to 1 in fifth, so unless someone's had a late buy... Unless it's then two draws that I messed it up for us. Hertha Berlin, 12-1 to to win the league. None of our players reached the um, Dream Eleven. Any key players? We have got Mumpa and Akafar. And that's it. Which is quite surprising. And any big transfers there, apart from that Harvey Elliott coming to Stuttgart. Bayern Munich have paid Porto £51 million pounds for Diogo Costa. Leverkusen have bought Kilic. Yeah, so some of them teams have paid big money haven't they i mean we've brought another one hannibal as well so we'll see how that pans out for the final time then folks season five can we go on and win something we've established ourselves i think in european places now second and third in the last couple of seasons let's hopefully we can go on better and let's take that crown off by munich Right, season five comes to a close, and here we go. We are we have finished in fourth position, two points behind Mainz, another two points behind Dortmund, and just look at Bayern Munich. They're, it's just absolutely insane. 18 goals conceded, and I think that's because they bought Diego Costa. We scored the second highest in the league, and uh, second most chances created as well, but 17 wins, 10 draws, 
only seven losses. So the losses have just kept coming down. We still conceded 51 goals though, but 70 goals scored, 19 goals within 61 points. I have to say it's been a successful rebuild. I'm not going to lie. We've been uh, consistently in the past three seasons in a European place after sorting our side out for the first two seasons. It's took a while, but we've got there in the end. All we need now is just some silverware. But Harvey Elliott, look at him. Third, second most assists in the league and most chances created. And we have a top goal scorer as well. 27 goals by Sikumara, who we brought in. Um, I wonder if Thomas has actually got any goals uh, saying that. If, I wonder if he's played every single game. That would be quite interesting. But wow, that is fantastic. We went without a win since beating Dortmund until we beat Wolfsburg at the end of October. We did lose to Mainz. We draw with uh, by, um, Leverkusen, but we got battered by Bayern Munich 4-1. Then we go on a little bit of a run. Uh, Wolfsburg, Berlin, Frankfurt, Munchen, Gladbach still unbeaten going into December. And then we lose to Leipzig 4-1. We do beat Augsburg 5-1 though. A couple of big scores there. We beat Werder in between Hertha Berlin and Dortmund losses. Disappointed 4-3 against Dortmund there though. So they get the revenge. We ca Wow, we've lost 8-0. What? Oh dear God. One, two, three, four, five, six goals for Hazlek. Wow, the youngster. And we still beat him to a um, <laughs> leading goal scorer. 24 goals in the league he got. 26 overall. We know all about him in previous uh, rebuilds. He's a very, very good uh, winger for stroke forward, I think. But 8-0, that is just, uh, that's ridiculous. I'm surprised we didn't get sacked at that point. And then after that, they seem to have booked their ideas up. And apart from the loss to Osberg, we... Um, we win all our other games, a, a couple of draws. But mains we get a revenge on them. Wolfsburg, Gladbach, Hamburger, Dusseldorf. Leipzig, we, we come back and win 4-1. And we finish the save off with a 3-1 victory over Hoffenheim. The German Cup, we get past the first round. We don't get past the second. And losing to Hamburger, 2-1. Akafor scoring a goal. To draw level and then Xavi Simons scores the winner on 36 minutes and we can't get back into the game. I'm disappointed we didn't get any further. I really am. The Champions League, well, we didn't lose as many games this time, but uh, just the one win. We lose to Real Madrid 4-0 and we draw 0-0. Chelsea, we lose both games 7-2 over the two games. Salzburg, we draw and we win. So where did we actually... We finished third, so we do go into the Europa League then, I guess. We did get some money from there, but not an awful lot. The Europa League then, we come into the first knockout round. We beat Dinamo Kiev 3-2 uh, overall on aggregate. Then Sevilla, a nice thumping 5-2 victory there. Mara scoring four goals. Fantastic. And he scored... In fact, did he score in every round? I don't think he did, no. Uh, didn't score in the first one. And he didn't score in the other ones. But uh, Valencia... We draw 2-2 at home. A late equaliser for Mumper as well. But the 3-1 loss to Valencia away from home. Too little. Too... In fact, we managed to get back onto level terms. And then two goals in uh, injury time. In fact, is that injury time or is that after extra time? I'm thinking that could be extra time. Confirmation then we finish fourth. We're into Champions League once again. I'm liking that. Consistently Champions League then last three seasons then. The Champions League was eventually won by Barcelona. The Europa League was won by Leicester. And um, Bayern Munich won the uh, German Cup. Looking at the squad then. So most goals is Mara. That's absolutely phenomenal stuff. That is uh, 36 goals in the season. He's done more in one season than really Thomas has. I think uh, we had a choice with Mara a couple of seasons back. And I wish we went with him in the end. But if we did that, we probably wouldn't have uh, had him to the end of this uh, rebuild. He probably would have been sold off by now. But that is phenomenal. 36 goals. 12 goals from Elliot as well in his first season also with 16. I mean, 28 goals he's been involved in. That's just amazing. And Aka 4 as well, 7 and 5. Fafana, 7 and 4. Uh, Philip as well, 6 and 5. KK, 5 goals and an assist. Excellent. And Milo, 
He must have got some game time in the middle of the park as well. Four and three. Anton as well. Assist wise, if we have a look, Elliot with 16. Then we've got Mangala. Kat Katabak as well with seven. Mumper, seven. Gertruda, six. I mean, we've been really, really excellent here. We really have. I think another couple of seasons and another couple of uh, investments. I mean, they're giving us £46 million this time round. Maybe that's because we finished a bit lower down than the second spot. We didn't get as much money. One more world-class investment and keep doing that every year. I think they'll just in keep improving this side. And uh, that is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely enjoyed this one. Um, and the fact that they had young players anyway to start off with, we didn't have big gaps where we were losing older players. So that's really great stuff as well. So that concludes our rebuild. If you enjoy that, please smash that like button. It does help the uh, algorithms as well. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more Football Manager rebuilds as well. And until the next one, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you managed to do this rebuild, please let me know down in the comments below how you got on, any trophies that you won, what sort of players you bought, formation, you know, all that good stuff. And until the next one, bye-bye.